wouldn't be surprised if someone come in for him for January and rock the boat. Mm, I'd, yeah. I'd be. Sh- He's a centre forward scoring goals Jeff. Jeff, in the team. I mean, you know, you look at Liverpool, someone like that who want to score goals. You need Aston Villa who want to score goals. You know, do they get rid of get Darren Bent for twenty million or something? Why would he want to go to Aston Villa from Newcastle? <sighs> they wouldn't at the moment. Be the club. <laughs> Every Newcastle United fan is now <laughs> reaching for their PC, their laptop, their telephone to complain about that. Aston Villa are a bit of the Newcastle. Aston Villa as well. Have they, did, have they won the European Cup? Have they? No. Oh. <laughs> How many times have they won the league? Yeah. When, when, when did Aston Villa win the, uh, win the European Cup? When was the last... A long time. Mm. Yeah. They've won a lot of stuff since the last time Newcastle won anything. 1968 Newcastle. Right, so when should we start with Aston Villa, the league, <laughs> the Carlin Cup? Is that, is that solely what makes you a big club then? Oh, is, that, is that the only precedent? They hold exactly the same as Newcastle as well. They hold the same, it's the same side of the ground, they, get the, they will get the same games. I mean, you got, we, we put both of them in perspective. If you live in Newcastle and you live in Villa, no one else is wearing a shirt anywhere by Newcastle and Aston Villa. So, really and honestly, there are only big clubs in their, in their cities, if we're being honest. But Villa have won a lot of stuff, and I think Tom, I'll go with me. You know, it's all about winning trophies. I think it's great, Tom. All in the game. Good deflecting. Carry on, Tom. Carry on. Dig him out, dig him out. I think you're looking at two teams are quite similar at the moment. 